Mm, looks like a choucroute. <laughs> hey guys, salut, it's Alex. Today I'm showing you how to make proper French toast three ways. Classic, super clean, and super guilty. French toast is an iconic French recipe, but unlike most of them, it's on the easy side. First off, the batter. In a bowl, mix two eggs and four tablespoons of sugar, a pinch of cinnamon, a drop of vanilla extract, and a touch of salt. Mix that nicely, I mean, really nicely. One cup whole milk. And that simply is our batter done. I believe with all that liquid, you can make at least a dozen French toasts. But now, to the most important part, the bread or as we call it in France, the bread. So classically, French toast has to be made with stale bread. And that's why in France, we are calling it pain perdu, as known as lost bread. But you know what? I don't even understand the concept of stale bread. It might be me being too much French, definitely possible, but I find it rude to let the bread stale on the counter. And also very sad, that poor little boy. Come see daddy, come see daddy, good boy. Make half an inch or one centimeter thick slices out of sandwich bread. Soak them in batter, flip them, and again, soak them really nicely. They must be significantly heavier. In my opinion, if you make thin slices, you will only get undercooked or overcooked French toast. There is no way you will get like the crispy outside and the fluffy inside. No way. It's exactly like French fries. Put a frying pan or a skillet over medium-low heat. If you cook them on a high heat, it's gonna be faster, of course, but they will be burnt outside, but still raw inside. Faster, anyone? Coat it with neutral oil, like canola oil or peanut oil, using kitchen paper. Place the slices in and make sure there is a full surface contact. Usually, you don't need more than 10 minutes to cook those slices. Flip them over a few times, just to check if everything's good. A minute before the end, sprinkle a tiny amount of sugar on both sides. Today's update is quite small, but very important to me. You see that? It's supposed, you know, to support something. Without further ado, This is a reward sent from YouTube itself to celebrate 100k subscribers on my channel. I don't have much to say, uh, but yes, <laughs> we. Oui! And second, thank you. Okay, back to the video. And that's how you make great French toast. I mean, easy, reliable, and most importantly, delicious. There is a thin, crispy, caramelized crust outside, but inside it's moist, soft, and it feels like a bit of a custard. Of course you can use toppings like strawberries and almonds, but if it's done properly, I like mine simple. Now to make a super clean and vegan version. Replace eggs by one banana, use almond or soy milk, and maple syrup instead of caster sugar. Last, coat the skillet with coconut oil. You want to be super careful because toast tends to stick to the pan even on very low heat. I don't know why they stick to the pan. Maybe it's because of the banana, maybe it's because of something else. Maybe you know the answer, so if you do, leave it in the comments right below. At the end, banana and coconut bring really interesting flavors. Inside, it's really soft, but to be honest, the crust is not as good as the previous one. Well, so it's less indulgent, that's for sure. But at the same time, you know, as it's clean and more lean, it's more likely to fit in your everyday diet. Unlike the super rich version, this is how you make it. Use brioche bread instead of sandwich bread, then replace milk with cream, I know it's really bad, and use a knob of butter instead of a coating of oil.
The result is of course super indulgent, really creamy inside, super golden outside. Taste-wise, that super rich version is simply magnificent, but as expected, it's a bit higher in terms of calories. So maybe just keep that version for when you really need it. Like your hangover, she break up, then you get up and you snap your toe into the corner of your bed. That's where you need it. Sally, I hope you liked those recipes and if you did, give it a like, thumbs up and share that over your social media using the hashtag spread it like butter so that I can find your creation and just showcase your lovely creations. So as you saw, I don't use toppings that much, but maybe it's simply because I did not find the perfect topping for me yet. If you have ideas of great toppings, share them in the comments right below. Last people, click subscribe because I make new videos on Sunday and it's most of the time about getting the posh out of French food like that time where I made a tartine with sunny side up egg, braised bell peppers, really caramelized and also a flavorful juicy cherry tomatoes. But also I make some pretty weird stuff like that time where I showed 11, yes 11, different twisted uses of rice paper wrappers. Many stuff to watch. Catch you next time guys. Bye bye, salut!